Hello everybody, welcome back to Marty Motoring. Uh, today I'm doing something right after work on a Friday. I'm going to visit my friend Fabian. You may have seen my previous video, which was of his wrapped R32. Uh, FP Styles is his company. He does vinyl wrapping, window tint, you name it. I'm going to his shop right now to get a part wrapped on the car. So let's head into the shop and check it out. So we made it in the shop here. And what are we wrapping? We're wrapping the hood. Uh, Fabian will be doing wrapping this hood. Uh, the paint isn't the best on it, and we're, I'm just wrapping it gloss black just to match the rest of the car and kind of protect it. I would have to repaint it, and at this point I don't want to do that, at least not for winter. It has some rock chips and things that have been filled in, but I figured a nice gloss black will protect it a little bit and blend in, and also then I need to fix the bumper. I hit a dead deer on the highway and it cracked this bumper and my lip, so I lost the lip. It's on the highway. The half that was there I had to throw away and this bumper's cracked now and needs replaced. But I used some Gorilla Tape and uh, it's staying together, so that'll be replaced later. So first that's just clay barring, right? Yep. That's all you're doing. So you the clean first it. thing that you want to do is you want to prep your surface, get it all nice, get all those little dirty... Um, pits and stuff like that off of there, any kind of sap or whatever, uh, because obviously you want the vinyl to stick as well as possible, but you don't want little, um, little like pockets coming through the vinyl and making like, almost like a reverse bubble. Um, so you want to get your surface really nice and clean and just get everything off of the top. So this is pretty standard whenever you're wrapping a car, you... You clay bar every car you wrap. Yeah, you pretty much, you're gonna clay bar everything and then you're gonna prep it with like alcohol afterwards and make sure that you get all the moisture and stuff out of all the cracks and crevices, of course. And then um, alcohol everything, wipe it all down. And like pretty much, you know, the name of the game is to Clean, 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 prep, 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 and then install. Kind of that just makes like sense. Paint. You know, you spend a lot of time in the prep process before makes actually sense. laying everything down. Yeah, you don't want to just wrap on a microfiber clean exactly. <laughs> thing because there could be so many contaminants on there. Exactly. And that's honestly what makes someone like me look really good is all the kids that never prep and then they go and they wrap their roof or their hood and it just makes my work look that much better. <laughs> nice and clean, as you can see. I actually use that clay bar, and then I use one of these synthetic clay bars, just to like oh, top everything cool. off. These are real easy. You can pick these up at like Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone, whatever. This is Griots. I like Griot stuff. Shout out to Griots, give me yeah. a hookup. <laughs> um, there you go. But like this is a synthetic, it's almost like a rubber that you can feel on there and it has a texture. Um, but it lasts much longer than like the original clay bars. That's sweet. And the original clay bars get really, really like mucked up. And you're kind of just like folding them in half and like reworking them. But like after a while that can, can become dangerous because then you're keeping all those contaminants in that clay bar and reusing stuff. So I try not to use the clay bar for like heavy, heavy polluted stuff. And then I use this guy as like a follow up. It works really well though, I really like it. I think this thing costs like 20 bucks, something like that. And it's reusable. It's reusable That's the other part. and you can clean like, you can clean the pad every time you, you do a car. So. That's, that's awesome, yeah, the reusability's yes. big selling point. Yeah, actually, this is just denatured alcohol, that's it. Oh. So denatured alcohol is um, like a stronger than isopropyl like rubbing alcohol. I usually use the alcohol after I wipe everything down because it will like help evaporate all that water and stuff that I just poured all over the place. So while that's getting ready to be wrapped, here's some of the other work he's done. It's really clean looking. Of course, it's it's not finished because I guess the, the owner didn't have that stuff finished, but you can see the purple here. 
It's really nice. And of course, I did a video on this as well, the uh, R32. This is way more aggressive wrap. Um, of course, I'm not doing anything like that to my car today, uh, but it's really cool just for people to see what you can do with vinyl. So there is the final shot of the hood, a nice deep black to match the rest of the car. So to make the vinyl a little smoother like the paint, because it is vinyl, it's naturally kind of um, not sticky, but it's, it's not super smooth. So what you could do is put a spray wax on and that will make it nice and smooth, especially since the rest of the car is uh, wax, has like a wax sealant coat on it. Uh, this will kind of match the rest of it. Now it's nice and shiny and smooth. Yes. Now feel it. Oh, yeah, that's like smoother than the paint now. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's great. It works, dude. It's such good stuff. The paint was pretty faded, so this actually helps out a lot and will just make it look clean, protect it, and it looks awesome. So big shout out to Fabian, FP Styles. Looks great, man, thanks. You're very welcome, dude. All right, so we left the shop. We're stopping at Sheets here for a quick drink. And, uh, and yeah, the hood looks really good, so shout out to Fabian for doing that. Should protect the hood for a little bit. Um, not really sure what route I'm gonna go, but this helps a lot. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, at Marty Motoring. And as always, leave a little rubber on the road. <laughs>